Hello and welcome to Construction Wolf and a Happy New Year. So uh, today, uh, obviously the first January means new LEGO releases and uh, importantly, the new series of minifigures, series 25. So very excited to get those because I think the whole range is, uh, you know, really strong and um, I'm going to try and get one of each. Uh, but as you're probably all aware, um, LEGO last year moved from the bags where you could feel uh, through the bag basically and uh, tell what minifigure was inside uh, to boxes where you obviously can't feel inside then um, there's no markers on the outside to tell you, you know, which uh, minifigures inside. It's, you know, totally like sort of a, as they call it, blind, blind bag, blind box. Um, so last year I did have success uh, and using a guide by Jay's Brick Blog for the Marvel series of minifigures. Um, so what I did was I um, weighed the minifigures and then, um, you know, I could compare them to the guide and then deduce from um, what they weighed what uh, was inside the box. Uh, so I'll put a link in the description to that video and um, I did actually end up with all the ones I wanted in the end. So I thought, um, Let's hopefully this all works out again. Uh, so I'm going to go down to the Lego store today and uh, try and weigh all the minifigures to try and get the ones I want. And just before I head off, just as a refresher for those of you who've not seen one of my videos before, I'll show you the um, setup I've got for doing this. So I've gone to um, Jay's Brick blog here, you'll see, and he's uh, produced his uh, weight guides that I'm going to use to, you know, um, compare what weights I see in the store to um, this guy to deduce what minifigure hopefully is inside. And then I'll leave a link to that in the description, actually, so you can um, easily access that. And then um, last year I bought these scales just off Amazon. They're, they're quite cheap. I think it was about maybe six pounds, something like that. And then, you know, an extra four pounds for these um, standards, these standard weights, uh, as it's, you know, very important to make sure your um, scales are calibrated first. Otherwise, you know, you could be getting a erroneous results um, that will push you into the wrong bracket. Because as you'll see here, some of the minifigures are very, very close on weight. Um, so you might end up, with, you know, with the wrong ones. And um, it, it, I just use some of these, you know, to calibrate it. It's the, like, sorry, but you'll see here, I've just checked and then it's like bang on 100 for 100. Let's try a light one. So 10 grams. Yeah, bang on 10 grams, etc. So you're all perfectly uh, calibrated, working fine. So let's head down to the Lego store. It's 10 minutes to open time and uh, you see there's a massive queue that's formed outside. There must be a lot of excitement for the new sets. Right, really, no, it didn't take too long to get into, to be honest, so quite reasonable. Uh, I've got my scale set up and the Lego store staff kind of give me a bag to put my minifigures in once I've picked them out. Here are all the minifigures on the shelf. So I'm going to take uh, one off and then start weighing them. So just put it on the scale like so. It's all like a uh, tad ready to go neutral. You can see the weight there, so I'm going to deduce what they are. Right, I'm now back from the Lego store and I've got all my minifigures here. Um, so actually I ended up uh, getting 13, um, I did intend to get 12 but somehow um, 13 ended up in my bag and I didn't want to have to go back and re-weigh them all again so I just went and got 13. So uh, unlucky for some but hopefully it might be lucky for me in getting what I wanted. Uh, I find this very difficult um, weighing them, I didn't find the weights correlated very well to the guide um, but I'll weigh them all again and write down what I think and then we'll see how it all works out. And uh, it was nice to meet some people there, actually, that was, you know, seeing what I was doing and, you know, weighing them. And uh, I did try and help a few people. Um, uh, so if you're watching and, um, you know, I tried to help you, I hope hopefully it worked out, fingers crossed, uh, that you got what you wanted. And it's very nice to meet you all. So uh, let me go and uh, write what I think these are then. I've now gone through each uh, minifigure and um, this is uh, what I think that they might be. It's been very, very hard. The weights is a struggle to get them to correlate really that well to the actual guide. So I'm going to start with the ones I'm more confident with and I'll give you a close-up view so you can see what my weights were and what I think they are. And the ones I put question marks, I'm really not sure. And funny enough, actually, the goat herd one, I didn't see any that were, um, you know, sort of anywhere really around 20 grams. Um, that was the closest there was. Uh, there wasn't any that were in the 20 gram range at all. So it does make it very difficult, um, you know, deciding what's what if there's nothing really close to what you expect. But these are the rest of the weights I've got anyway for you to see. And uh, you can see here, then I'm again, uh, there's a few where I think I might, you know, I don't know if I put one in by accident into my basket, I did it with 13, but um, I think they're both fitness instructors. And I've had a shake as well, because sometimes you can tell if there's larger pieces, you know, like say there's maybe like that mushroom spike helmet. Um, and so that's why I think that one might be through shaking and sort of weighing. And I think I might have ended up with two gamers there possibly, but just by shaking, they didn't feel very different. And then they're again, the try set up at the end. Um, We'll see if that turns out to be what we think it is. Right, so I've got my um, trusty uh, measuring jug here. So it's always good to use that, I think, because then you can see the pieces going in as I open them. So uh, let's begin. 
Right, we're going to begin with one of the most common on, which is the train kid at 21.50 grams. Uh, the guide's 21.72, so not too far off. Um, let's get in and see. There's not really any ones anywhere near as heavy as this. And uh, yeah, can you see? That's the train kid, you can see the train in there. So that's one for one so far, so a good start. We'll see if we can keep this going. Next up we have what I believe is the Fierce Barbarian at 16.96 grams. Uh, the guide says 17.0 grams bang on, so not too far off. And this was significantly lighter than any of the other minifigures I found. So pretty confident on this one. No, okay, that's interesting then. So that's wrong. And that is uh, the fitness, um, what's it, the runner? So that's 17.39 grams on the guide. So significantly different. You can see here we've got the, uh, you know, the block with the one. Okay, so that's uh, one wrong, one right so far. Disappointing. Okay, so I checked the weight on the last one and uh, it was what I thought it, you know, was weight wise. So uh, there was a massive difference between the guide and what I found. It was like about 0.4 grams, which is massive when you rely on like small variations to detect these, you know, what many things these are. So I'm feeling very uncomfortable for the rest of this. Uh, so let's just see how it goes. So this was a query vampire night, uh, 19.71 grams. The guy says uh, 19.64 grams. Let's have a look. And uh, now I can see it's not the Vampire Knight, it is the Goat Herd. Okay, so that's good. That's uh, It's not good that I'm wrong, but it's good that I got uh, the Goat at least, because uh, I've I wanted the, it's the one I wanted the most. Uh, so yeah, there we go, the Goat. Right, so after that then, I'm pretty confident this one will be the Goat Herd as well, which isn't a bad thing, because I did actually want to get a couple of these uh, down the line. So, um, We'll see how it goes, but it, it's about a 0 0.3 gram difference between what the guy says, which is 20 grams. Uh, so quite large there. This one's a little bit closer. And uh, yep, so that is uh, the goat, as I thought it might have been, going by the previous uh, one we had. So uh, another goat herd. This next one is 18.32 grams. And the only one that really does fit is the um, film noir detective. Uh, none of the others are really that close weight range wise. So. That's why I didn't put a question mark on this. So I thought, going by the guy, this is what it should be. Uh, we'll see though, won't we? And I can see that's wrong already. <laughs> so it's not going very well. Okay, the dog groomer. So that's a lot lighter. That's a, so that's actually 0 0.35 uh, grams um, lighter than it should have been. So a lot of these weights are a little bit off to me. Um, right, okay, then let's see how we keep going. So this one's slightly uh, heavier than the last one at 18.46 grams. So I'd say this is much more likely to be the dog groomer, really, to be honest. Uh, let's see if we've got two dog groomers. Uh, yes, we have, yeah. There we go. Uh, two dog groomers. Right, so it's not going brilliantly well, is it, this time, compared to the last time. Um, we're getting a lot of uh, them wrong, but at least... We have sort of, you know, weighing and we have got some differences, so it's not just totally blind luck. Uh, I'll have to do a count up of how many I've actually got right to what I thought they were at the end. It's not going to be very high. Uh, so next, I think, is the fitness instructor, 17.36 grams. Uh, what was that supposed to be? About 17.30 grams. Um, but the way things go, things just seem to be a bit lighter than it's claiming. So we'll see what this is. Oh, okay, that's the uh, the esports gamer then. See, the, um... A sort of pink wig and a trophy and that was supposed to be where's my guide 17.71 grams uh, yeah so uh, significantly lighter 17.71 grams to 17.36 grams right next up uh, we have what i thought was a fitness instructor then but now seeing the last one which is virtually identical it's probably another esports gamer so let's have a look look out for that uh pink wig yeah esports gamer Next at 17.44 grams, I thought at the start of this, this might be the sprinter, but going by how everything seems to be lighter than it's claimed on the guide, this might be more likely to be maybe the fitness instructor at 17.30 grams, or maybe even something a bit lighter, so let's take a look. Okay, Triceratops. That's very interesting. So that was supposed to be... Um, 17.78 grams, so again, a lot lighter, very hard to gauge if the weight difference is so large compared to what the guide claims. Next we have 17.84 grams, what I thought was a mushroom spike, but um, as everything seems to be lighter going by uh, the recent results, 
This could be maybe the film noir detective or possibly the harpy. Uh, so let's uh, take a look. Ah, so that is, yeah, the harpy, okay then. So sort of like tr gauging how this guy works now. Everything's a lot um, lighter than it's claimed. There's the harpy's uh, angry looking face. Here we have the minifigure that weighed at 17.65 grams. Um, so again, by recent results then, I don't think this is a game anymore. But it's probably something like maybe, uh, let's have a look at the guide. I'm going to say maybe this could be the mushroom sprite, which is uh, officially on the guide 17.88 grams. Let's take a look. No, okay, so it's another harpy then. So, uh, yeah, it's very, very much lighter than the guide says. Okay, this uh, minifigure is a bit lighter than the last one we just opened at 17.53 grams. So uh, maybe this one is going to be the mushroom sprite then. Hopefully not another harpy because I don't want three of them. That's a bit much, I think. Yes, there we go, the mushroom sprite. Okay, so this is a different one from the last one. Okay, then we're on to our 13th and final minifigure then. Uh, so 70.83 grams. Originally I thought it was Triceratops, but... That's going to seem quite likely, unlikely now. Uh, so I think this is more likely to be the film noir detective. Uh, but there's quite a big uh, weight difference there. If it's going by the guys, maybe getting towards like 0 0.6, 0 0.7 grams, which is a lot, isn't it? Uh, let's take a look. Okay, so we've got the third harpy there. Okay, then. So that was, yeah, supposed to be 18.04 grams. Uh, I, was, I was kind of hoping it wasn't going to be that really, but it is. Uh, so we've got three of those. Right, let's uh, I'm going to build them all, then uh, we'll come back and discuss the findings. I've now assembled all the minifigures and marked myself on how I got on and what the weight difference was in comparison to the guide. So um, the only one I really saw, I got this one, like the train kid, and then I leant towards this being the, sort of the dog room, it was either one, but then I shook in for more dog room. So I'm going to give myself a point there. And the same for the Goathead one, it was a heavier one, I didn't find any close to 20 grams, so I took a punt on that one. Uh, apart from that though, uh, the rest were wrong uh, from what I thought they were, so 3 out of 13 is pretty bad to be honest. Um, I know sort of weighing these, at least I, you know, got a range of weights doing that, so it meant my chances of getting duplicates was sort of reduced a bit, but I still got, um, what was it? Let's have a look, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, five duplicates um, out of the 13. So I've still got um, four of the minifigures left to get then, unfortunately, which is the um, the Vampire Knight there, the Film Noir Detective, and the Barbarian, and the Fitness Instructor. So I definitely really wanted these two, so at some point I'm going to have to go and look for those. Um, so let's have a look at the weight differences then. So a lot of these, I've put like a minus here, so that's like 0 0.35 grams less than what the guide said, um, you know, for the dog groomer. You see a lot of them are like, sort of between 0.2 to 0.4 gram difference, um, lower. And they all were lower. So just showing you my results uh, for your reference and hopefully it might help you find the minifigures you're looking for. And even actually see here, this was interesting, the harpy. There was even a bit of weight difference between these two harpy minifigures, uh, which was interesting. I don't know if they had like significantly more, say like glue on, um, you know, one of the tabs than the other, the other one. Um, I checked inside and they had all the same number of pieces. And then here, see the minus point, uh, 0 0.34 grams for the triceratops. It's quite a lot. And then sort of about 0 0.3 grams under for the goat herd one. So if we look back at the guys, when you think about you know, sort of like less than 0 0.1 gram difference between some of these, it makes it very difficult picking them out uh, in the store. So a little bit disappointing uh, from this guide. I thought I'd just have a quick look at the minifigures uh, that I have got here. So the train kid was quite cool. We've got the like like a series twenty five on there. That's quite a nice minifigure. Here we have the sprinter, and I like how they've got the prosthetic legs uh, for being a Paralympian. This uh, one's won a gold medal. Then we've got uh, the gamer, esports gamer comes with a mouse. Then uh, she's also got a nice sort of rainbow effect keyboard and a trophy. And I like uh, how this is a nod, maybe a nod to the Black Falcon uh, Knights. And another gamer there. Dog Rumor. Yeah, I like that one. There's the dog. I like how she's uh, got, you know, like a sort of a hearing, um, hearing aid type device there. So that's interesting and moulded into the actual hairpiece.
And I've got another dark rim with the Afghan Hound. Then uh, my favourite probably of this uh, series, uh, just because of the goat really, because um, we went for a goat for ages, so uh, there's the goat there. And uh, the difference between the other ones is that this goat hasn't got a uh, like, sort of like, brown splotch on like the older goats uh, that Lego issued. And there's a sort of uh, uh, sort of resting expression of the goat herd, like the hood. And then there's this more um, awake version on the second one I got. Triceratops is uh, quite a cool one as well. So you've got the sort of rubberized tail again. Which needs to be useful for feeding out in the Lego bags, but you can't do that anymore, unfortunately. Then I've got quite a lot of harpies here. Here's the one I built up. That's quite a cool one. <laughs> got a bit of a scary looking uh, expression. Look quite nice and colourful. Like the wings on the back. And interesting, they use like um, this sort of style of leg as well. Not seen that before. And uh, you've got the printed claws on, so that's quite nice. And finally, we have the mushroom sprite. I like this one um, quite a lot as well. Uh, Butterfly is really cool. Uh, very good, different uh, coloration on with the print. Uh, so that's something different. Let's show you around the back. Yeah, so that's all the minifigures I've uh, got of Series 25 so far. That's my findings from uh, weighing these minifigures Series 25 then. Uh, bit, it is a disappointment, isn't it? So uh, a lot of these were, you know, wrong. Um, I guess um, weighing them, as I've said, um, I've got eight of the 12, uh, so just four more to get. Uh, it's a pain getting Jeep, because especially if it's one you're less keen on, because it's a waste of money at the end of the day. So I know Lego that, that say, oh, we're you know helping the environment by making cardboard packaging, but then you're buying excess of things you don't want. So again, that's something maybe they should look at. Um, you know, maybe issuing like packs of 12 for people that want to collect them all. Um, it, yeah, it's disappointing. Uh, so I will have to get down to um, a store and try and get the ones I haven't got. Uh, hopefully you found it useful, you know, seeing what weights I've actually got and um, hopefully it might actually help you find the minifigures you're looking for. I'll update um, on the channel when I get the other minifigures that I'm missing uh, with the weights I get for those. And uh, you can see here the range was like about sort of 0.2 to 0.4 grams different uh, to what the guy says, uh, lower. Uh, so that's just something to bear in mind of when you're out in the shops. I don't know if, like, say there's uh, variations between batches of the amount of glue they've used, because you think the actual Lego pieces themselves will be quite standardised. Uh, Jay's Brick Blog is actually from Australia, so I don't know if there's maybe slight differences in, in packaging there to, say, in the UK. Um, uh, yeah, it could be just all sorts of variables, really. So um, I'll be interested to hear in the comments um, what you have to say and how you're getting on finding these minifigures. And also I'd like to, um, I know the people in the store I tried to help, I did say it. it's not a guarantee, but I do apologise because I'm sure some of these might be wrong and, uh, you know, you feel bad, you really want to help people, but uh, I just had to go on the guide with, uh, you know, what I've got really and uh, unfortunately let me down in that case. And as you can see, my scales were totally calibrated, uh, so they weren't the issue. It is what it is, unfortunately. So um, hopefully you found this video useful and you've enjoyed it. And um, if you can consider liking and subscribing, that'd be much appreciated. And uh, hopefully we'll see you again next time. Bye.